Welcome, this is the uh, Algebra 1 end of course practice test. Question number 56 on test number 3. The first two terms of a sequence are negative 7 and negative 2. The sequence then follows the rule 5x minus 12, where x represents the position of the term in sequence. We usually refer to that as the n value, the number of the term in the sequence. Which list represents the next five terms of this sequence? So I've got negative 7 first, negative 2, and then I want one, two, three, four, five more. Now, it tells me that these next terms follow 5x minus 12, which means it's a linear relationship. So let's try it to see where they got that negative 7. So the first term in sequence, all I'm doing is substituting the number in the sequence for x right here in my little function rule that I have now circled. 5 times 1 is 5, minus 12 is negative 7. 5 times 2 minus 12 it would be 10 minus 12 or negative 2. So what they're doing is just applying the first and second term. So really, they say the sequence then follows this rule, but it's been following that rule the whole time. So from here, you could see, oh, well, it's linear uh, in the sense that it has an x, which means it's going up by the same amount every time. So you can just continue it up if you wanted to. You would add 5 to get from negative 7 to negative 2, so you just add 5 more and get 3, and then you'd add 5 more and get 8, and then you'd add 5 more and get 13, and then add 5 more and get 18, and then add 5 more and get 23. Or, if you'd like to continue just kind of plugging along to the 5th, uh, to the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th terms, you can certainly do that as well. and then it'll just give you the exact values. So, um, 5 times 3 is 15, minus 2 gives you 3, 20 minus 12 is 8, 25 minus 12 is 13, 30 minus 12 is 18, and 35 minus 12 is 23. So your answer to this one is A. If you had wanted to skip the 5 to the first and 5 to the second, you certainly could have. You just had to remember that it wants the next five terms in sequence and so not the first five terms, so you'd have to plug in a two, a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so you could just skip right to this part if you'd read it a little more if you wanted to. But like I said, this isn't really, this was pretty easy to get right, uh, so you can do it whatever way you feel that is best for you.